Good morning. It's early. It's way earlier than it looks. It looks like there's some light back there. Not so much the case. The sun is nowhere near up. It is 5 a.m. And I am just going to fire up the Ranger and head out. Today's mission, walleyes. My last day on the ice. I'm going to focus strictly on walleyes today. My goal today is to catch 100 walleye. I've got like 16 hours to fish, something like that. I've got lunch packed with me, stuff to cook, soup, whatever. I'm gonna spend all day out on the ice. Like I said, the goal is 100 walleyes. Am I gonna achieve that goal? I don't know, but it's always good or fun to set goals for your day or for your trip. Sometimes on a trip I wanna go and I wanna catch one big lake trout and I'm gonna sit on a spot for three days and try for that one fish. Or days like today, I'm gonna to move around lots and try to catch 100 walleyes. So I am up in Northern Manitoba. I'm gonna be fishing out of uh, the Cranberry Lakes area, Simon House type of thing. There's so many opportunities and I'll talk about that more throughout this video. I'm staying at Caribou Lodge like I did earlier this year when I did my super aggressive lake trout video there probably start of January, something like that. I'll link that in the description below that video. It's a super fun video. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. But yeah, like I said, Caribou Lodge, motel room number six, nice little kitchenette. But uh, yeah, it's early. I'm ready to go fishing. Well, yeah, I am finally out here, but a half an hour. You see, this camera has like unreal lighting capabilities it looks a lot darker out here than it does in this viewfinder right now but i'm going to punch a couple of holes and move around a lot i know this area gets fished quite a bit and as people come today i'm going to probably spread out from the packs but i'm the first one out here right now it's beautiful no wind gorgeous love it oh this is it this is it, my last day on the ice of 2018, 2019 season. And it's been good. We are fishing. So as long as I get the fish to the hole, we're counting it today. Spot number two, spot number two. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fish one, spot two. Oh yeah, walleye, yes. At least the sun is not up yet for I smashed my first walleye of the day. 99 to go, beautiful fish. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I drop down to that fish. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this bite is gonna charge up. Nice. That did not take long at all. Okay, shh, 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 shh. fish number two. There we go. There we go. Fish three, baby. Fish three. It counts. It counts. It was out of the hole. It counts. 100% counts. I basically told myself today any fish that gets to the hole, it counts. Fish three. Ooh, 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 yeah, 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 yes, yes. Ooh, this feels a little bit better. It feels a little bit better, a little bit. <laughs> ooh, yeah, 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 that is a nicer fish. Come on, that is a nicer fish. Come on, girl, come on, turn for me, turn for me, <laughs> yes. Well, that is a better fish, look at that puppy. Right on. Fish four is nice. I've had a pretty big lull here, but uh, I will uh, I will take that. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, that hook is buried. I'm gonna get a quick measure on this fish. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I have underestimated this fish quite a bit. That fish is 27 and a quarter inches. <laughs> okay, I knew it was nice, but I didn't know it was that long. 27 and a quarter, baby, fish four, unbelievable. Oh, beautiful walleye. 
Beautiful fish. That is a prime breeder right there. Prime female. So good. I will uh, get another minnow on here and talk a little bit about why this last ice walleye fishing can be so good. So, like I said, I've had a slower start. The whole goal of catching 100 walleye in a day has not started off that well. But that fish right there definitely makes up for a lot. 27 and a quarter, super respectable walleye. And like I said, I was gonna talk about here, last ice walleyes. They start to stage for their spawn time so they can be a little bit more predictable. If you can find some kind of uh, little creek with an inflow that you think is a potential spawning area and then fish outside of it somewhere in front of it here. Basically, the walleyes all stage here in front and they're getting ready for their spawn. They're gonna work their way up the creek here once the ice starts to melt a little bit more. But like I said already, staging area, somewhere out in front uh, of an inflow or a creek, an area that you predict to be kind of a spawning area they'll stack up in there. So they'll like be in there, all these winter locations all over a big lake, you know, say for Simon House example, I'm on Simon House. So you have this giant lake and all these walleyes spread amongst uh, this, this whole area here, right? So they got different areas they call home for the winter, different reefs, different points, saddles, spines, whatever, right? They call their home. And then they all kind of migrate up towards the creek so they can be a little bit more predictable come this, this time of the year. So, you know, you can catch big walleyes all winter or a good numbers of walleye all winter, especially if you move around lots. But right now you can kind of really pinpoint exactly where they're gonna be and sometimes smoke them. Oh yeah, that fish thumped it. You know, it lined it up a few times and then finally it just crushed it. Yeah, okay, you can go back down. Okay, come on, shh, shh. okay, come on. Okay, there you go, there you go, you've earned it. You splashed everything. Don't get everything so wet on me. Why would you do that to me, fish? Okay, fish five, presto, fish, fish six. Oh, here we go again, here we go again. Got him, fish seven. Fish nine. Fish number 10. Small move, small move, small move. Hit it again, yes! Small move paid off. Fish, 11 counts, saw him, counts. Saw him, fish 11. Got him, fish 12. I've got hope. So the whole, the whole thing about setting a goal is like, no matter what it is, it's just fun because that's like your, objective to achieve for that day. Like if you're in a tournament, your goal should be to win the tournament. Or maybe you have a goal just to go out and catch one fish to cook for supper, right? Like setting a goal just gives you something to, to achieve, to push towards. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, yes! Crushing! 13. They might not all be monsters, but one thing is, is they're not tiny. Fish number 15, smallest one of the day, but still a nice specimen. Fish 16, brand new spot, seven and a half feet of water. You never know where they're gonna be this time of the year. Yes, yes. Again, new spot, uh-oh. Mm, I think I'm hooked on the bottom of the hole. This one won't count. Oh, he's still there, I think. What is going on? Okay, there, I was hooked on the bottom of the hole. And I still got him. I still got him, luckily. That one I wouldn't have counted if I would have lost him on the bottom of the hole because I wouldn't have had him in the hole. But that is fish 17, walleye 17 anyway. Walleye numero umero 17. Quit getting my stuff wet. Yes. I'm just keep moving and bouncing and moving and bouncing, bouncing and moving. Saw him, fish 18, counts, saw him, walleye, counts, boom. Fish 19. That's number 20, baby, that's number 20. 21. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. 
Oh, lost it and I can't even count it because it was too far below the hole. Oh, Clayton, 22. Well, day's going good. I'm a 22 walleye right now. I think about three or four pike, one Cisco. Only the walleyes count today. I've only really lost one that I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, so it's been good. It's been really good. I got here yesterday afternoon, late afternoon, and I got out to this area and I did some scouting. Caught about probably four or five walleye. Wasn't a super steady bite, but uh, they were aggressive. And as I'm finding this morning, they've just been getting more and more aggressive as I go. So hopefully yet I still have the best part of the day to come. But like I said, I got here yesterday. Actually, I stopped in um, the paw though. I didn't know they had a tackle shop in there called Pete's Pro Tackle, I think it is. And guess what I found there? My favorite tube jigs. Everybody always asks in the comments, where can I get these things? Well, Pete's Pro Tackle, L look it up. I'll leave the description to the Facebook page below here. What did I say? Description? I'll leave, I'll leave the link in the description below. And phone number, whatever. Six inch chartreuse tube jigs, baby. My favorite Laker bait. So I stocked up on a couple. For next year, they have them pre-rigged or you can buy them just the tubes. But it's pretty sweet. I also got some glow-in-the-dark ones that I think are going to be the ticket as well. But if you are on your way up to northern Manitoba... And you're coming through that route, coming through the paw, whether you're going to Clearwater, Athpap, Reed, Wacosco, Baker's Narrows, you know, the list goes on. Um, it's a great little store to stop at. They have a lot of uh, fishing tackle. They have a bunch of hunting supplies too, from what I saw. I didn't go on that side of the store at all. But uh, yeah, lots of fishing stuff, lots of bait. So uh, hit it up on your way through. Fish 24, we are back on the board. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Yes, a little bit nicer, a little bit nicer fish, a little bit nicer, a little bit nicer. <gasps> I saw him, I saw him, so he counts, but it hurts because it was like about a 24, 25 incher. He was right there at the hole. Ay, 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 gone, choking. Bye bye, fish to six. 27. No, oh, yep, 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 yep. That was a little better, Mark. That was a little better, Mark. Come on. Oh, yes. Come on. This will be fish 29 if I get it in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice wall. Nice wall. Nice wall. Yes. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. Fish 29, baby. Beautiful. Now it's like a 25 inch fish. Awesome. Not one walleye under 16 inches today. And that's fish 30. 31. There you go. You can keep the minnow, bud. Fish 32. So good. I shall call this fish the Patrick Wah, number 33. Come on. There we go. Man, if I'm marking them, I'm catching them. Fish 34, 35, 36. There we go. I was sweeping it up and down and that fish just crushed it. 37, jigs out, back down, 37. Caught number fish 38, just off the of camera over here. Big fat chunker. There we go. There we go, chunker, chunker. Oh, yes. Look at that one. Fish 39. Woo. Beautiful fish. Got another fish down there. Got to get, I got to get this guy down there. There's another fish down there. Fish 40. Oh, come on. Yes. Ooh. 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 Man, all these fish just feels so good like unbelievable i know i'm a little bit further away right now but it's okay nice fish nice fish nice Ooh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Boom goes the dynamite. Look at that thing. Beauty fish. Solid 26 inches probably. I'm going to do a quick measure. <laughs> so you can see that it was caught behind me. And it's just because I didn't want to move the ranger and create a bunch of noise on the ice. So I'll measure it right over. Mouth closed. Oh, baby. 26 and a half. 26 and a half or baby. Awesome fish number 41. Beauty. As I was saying, you will able to see on that GoPro, I catch it back there just because I didn't want to drive the Ranger around. I drilled a couple holes here. I didn't want to create more uh, noise here. I've got a good thing going on in this little small area right now. Maybe I'll grab the main camera, take it over there for a bit. 26 and a half. Awesome. Another healthy fish. Fish 42. I am going to have walleye hands after today. Oh, another mark right there. Walleye hands, like, you just hit the little spines, their gill plates, everything. The next day, your hands just so much pain. It just swells up. But it's all worth it. Yes. That says a lot if that's the smallest walleye I've caught today. It's like 13, 14 inches. Caught number 44 in the chair. Voila, 45. Just slammed me off camera. Trying to bounce around a little bit. Locate a pot of walleyes. Powering down, boys and girls. I'm powering down. I need a need a burst of energy here. Somebody go get me a coffee. Oh yeah. Mark just come in and just nailed me. It's been hasn't been crazy. Oh, I got here. I got water all over that one. Let's do this and then I'll pull that fish up. Okay. It's uh, kind of slacked off for me a little bit. This is fish 46. It is 10 to 6. So it's not looking like I'm going to get all the way there. But we're going to keep giving her. Nice fish right there. 24, maybe 25 inches. Beauty. <laughs> Hardly hooked. Back down you go. Jeez, they just they all got this big tail kick and they just spray water everywhere. Look at this quality fish. I've got my hood up because it's windy. This is awesome. Wow, look at that one. Would you look at that one? Would you look at that? That's two back, two fish in a row back to back that are, oh, careful. Okay, gone. That right there is number 49. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jeez, this is fish number 50. Look at the average size of all of these fish. Like, I can't even get my hand around it. Unbelievable. The average size is just mind-blowing. Like, if you like to catch walleyes northern manitoba has so many of these size and bigger the quality is just mind-blowing like 50 fish one what you would consider like smaller <laughs> couple of like the eaters you know 16 and 19 so many 20 plus Couple 25s, 26 and a half, 27 and a quarter, and 50 walleyes. Now, yes, I've been out here for 13 hours all, maybe 12 and a half hours. So I've put my time in, moved around a pile, but you can't always expect to go out there and just park on a spot. Sometimes you need to move around. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. And today, well, I've earned it. This chair right now, is saving me because I have gone the distance, but it's not over yet. I got like three hours of some prime time left. My goal was a hundred. I'm halfway there. Am I gonna get to hundred? Probably not, but you know, you gotta set your goals high. But hey, I'm having a blast trying to get there. Unbelievable. Come on, 
got fish just lined up here again. Let's do it. 51, oh, look at that camera. I'm gonna clean that off after I release this fish. <laughs> Another quality fish. Wow, like 23, 24 inches. Unbelievable. Wow, wow. I don't even know what to say anymore. This is awesome. That was fish 53. Okay, fish 50, 54. 55, not a big specimen, just a perfect eater. I'll talk quickly about the jigs that I'm using here. I have a package right here I pulled. The, so and these are made by Acme or product of Acme, Kalen's Google Eye. They have a rattle in the jig head, as you can see. A little bit of minnow left right there. I'll take that off. Still got, this one's good. Sometimes the rattle will fall out after about 50 fish, but this one's been good so far. You can maybe hear that. Still got a little rattle in the eyeball there. 3 8 ounce is what I've been using. A bunch of different colors you can get. But like I said, you can find them on the Acme website. I got these from Pokies in Regina. I got turned on by these in the fall by a buddy. And uh, I've been a big fan of them. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that thing just skyrocketed me, just hammered me. I just shot right out of the hole. That's fish 56. 56. It's fun fishing the shallow water. I'm in six feet of water right now. 56. Number 57. I talked a little bit about the jigs that i was using today the rods i've been switching back and forth between the commander from tuned up custom rods and their dead stick rod both rods i've used in the past for some of my walleye videos this being a 38 inch and the dead stick rod being a 36 inch i really like them both for walleye a lot and uh the dead stick i like with some uh, lighter jigs on them right now even though i'm not running it for um an actual dead stick rod i still like it for the lighter jigs and then this the commander rod i've been running a 3 8 ounce or bigger on it so it's been a good little combination switching back and forth the commander has definitely got most of the workout today as i've been putting most of the beat down with that uh, 3 8 ounce kalen's rattle jig it's been awesome beauty uh 50 58, 50, 59. I swear I put him down head first and he just wouldn't go. Awesome, fish 60, six zero, killing it. Here we go, nice mark. Oh yes, yes, crushing, crushing them. <laughs> they're just, they're just jumping on the ice right now. Okay, 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 get back here. They're literally jumping out of the hole and that's fish 62. Got him, got him. There's another one down there too. There's two more down there. <laughs> There's a school of them down there. Let's get down there quick. Down there quick. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. There's a school of you guys down there. I want to catch you all. Give it up. Here we go. 63. Fish 64. Jumping out of the hole onto the ice. Yes, 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 yes. A little bit better fish. I think. Oh, yeah, a little bit better fish. A little bit better fish. Come on, transducer. Here we go. A little bit better. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, it lost it. That hurt. That was a better fish. A little better fish. Man, shallow water. Oh, Clayton. I hope that wasn't my opportunity. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far into the video, don't go away yet. I want to say a couple things. So today went well. It's 9.30, which means I fished for a total of 16 and a half hours. That's one of the longest days I ever put on 
put in on the ice straight through with no breaks. Went hard. Didn't achieve my goal of 100 walleyes. Was it achievable? Yeah, but was it realistic? Probably not. But set your goals higher, right? But don't get upset if you don't always get them. When you do hit those goals that are almost out of reach, but just achievable, it's epic, right? Like when you can do that, you feel so good about yourself, but don't get down when you don't. Just remember, they're a goal. That's all it was, plain and simple. It goes for life, it goes for fishing, it goes for anything else. This winter, the whole YouTube thing has taken off for me. It's been so much fun. I had a goal to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the winter. I didn't get there. I'm like at 86 or 8,700, I'm not even sure right now. But it was a, it was a goal that I, I knew was achievable, but I wasn't gonna be disappointed if I didn't get there. No problem. We're gonna keep pushing ahead. Got some plans coming for open water season. Have some, uh, something exciting to share with you guys soon. I can't thank everybody enough. More importantly, <laughs> about today and Northern Manitoba in general, if you've never experienced the last ice or the late ice walleye bite, go. Like, if you don't get there this year, go next year. Thank you to, to Norm for having me. It's a wonderful location. Like I, I said in that Lake Trout video that I have in the description below, I mentioned the beginning of the video. Location's awesome. There's so much to do here. Right now, the travel on the ice is awesome with a quad, with a range or something like that. I can't wait to come back next year and go for my 100 walleyes in a day again. I uh, guess that wraps up my ice fishing season. Wow. I can't thank you guys enough for continuing to watch. Smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, come on. Let's get those subscriber numbers up. Leave some comments. On that note, I love the positive mentality, attitude we have on this channel in the comments. Let's keep that going. Positivity is amazing. Negativity breeds cancer. We don't want that anywhere. I love the positivity. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.